Oh, oh, look at this. For extra bit, I didn't think about it. But this, yeah, fight the shambling suit. You have 13 permanents so that you need to get rid of here, sir. That's enough. Yeah, I can't just <laughs> sacrifice freaking everything, okay? Can't hear any Christmas bells. Christmas sure came early because we're playing another mono black deck, everyone. <laughs> This time it's gonna be another membership deck. This is Isabella's Obliterate deck. How do you become a member, you ask? Well, you check out the join button next to the subscribe button. This is Isabella's Mono Black Devotion deck with some really boss cards. It's obvious that Isabella is a triple duck can boss because this deck is just mwah. <laughs> Look at this. She's running four Helm of the Host and Lithophore Mandian. To copy all the triggers of Grey Merchants, or maybe getting more of our creatures, getting more obliterators or something like that. That's just really cool. We're gonna play two versions of this deck. We're gonna play this version right here, with the idea of this, of course, to put down the Grey Merchant and copy it with Hell on the Host, or copy the trigger with Lethal Form Engine. And then we're gonna play another version which focuses more on fighting, since we have Frex and Obliterator. And I've really wanted to play a Frex and Obliterator deck for a long time, but I didn't want to waste the wild cards. But now I finally got the reason to waste the wild cards on this card. And we're gonna play in that deck, we're gonna play a lot of cards which fight stuff. And we're gonna use the ability. Whenever a source deals damage to Frex and Obliterator, that source's control is sacrifices that many permanents. Usually people don't attack into this guy or block him. But when you have fight, then they're in trouble. Mmm. 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 These jelly beans. If you ever come to Japan, you need to go to Muji Yurushi and you need to buy their jelly beans. 100 yen? I think that's about one dollar. And it's so worth it. So worth it. Such good jelly beans. Amazing. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I think we just. Uh, not tomorrow there. Mmm. Man, these are good. They are amazing. They're so amazing. Well, if we can get to the Obliterator, I think we have a pretty good game against this guy. Since it seems to have a lot of creatures. Let's see, Revolt, that's going to be ends up. If a permanent you control left the battle with this turn, it creates a 1-1 one, one servo artifact. Mm, I wish we had a way of fighting things in this deck. We don't, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I think we can offer up the Timarit for the trader, though. Since we have another Timarit. That might be fine. Might be, okay. It takes damage. Doesn't want to uh, replace his impassioned orator with a 1 1. This could be a combo deck, honestly. No, because it can only trigger once, okay. I thought this could trigger any amount. Oh, we can sacrifice creatures. This could be a combo deck. It's a little bit annoying to have to pay one mana whenever you want to sacrifice something. There are better cards for that, I think. Iron Lord Ollie. Yes. That's perfect, actually. Perfect, because we didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Okay, Ayora. First of Loft Wayne. And he takes a damage. That's good. At some point, this big boss is gonna come uh, marching down there. Bastion of Bohemian Bronze. Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay. No, he's not smacking him now. I don't think. We could go Obliterator, Obliterator. If we draw lands, we can go Obliterator, Obliterator, Grey Merchant. That could be quite nice. Okay, sacrifice creature, scries. And revolts! Gets another one. Uh, you know what? I think I'll gladly pay to life for this. Glad Ali. And... Do we attack him? I don't think that I can. I think what's gonna happen is gonna kill my obliterate and I'm gonna draw a card in response. I think that's gonna happen. Most likely. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Mortify! No, 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 no. Then I'd rather draw a card. Boop. And then I'll play another obliterator. It would be so cool if we had a fight. I wonder if we can alter this deck a little bit. We might not be able to do mono black, because I don't think there's any colorless fight cards and there's definitely no black fight cards right but i don't know you probably have to add in green to do that but it would be so cool it'd be so cool to get some fighting would be so freaking amazing well another obliterator i think i stay again i think i have more to fight 
Pass turn. Pass it down. He loses one, we gain one. Okay, hidden stock pad. Does he have any combo with this? Or is he just... Okay, revenge of the Ravans. That doesn't do much for him. Can't still attack in. Sacrifice a creature though. Well, we lose some life points. And he gains some life points. Now I think the Nightmare Shepherd is gonna be kind of noise actually. Kind of noise because he's probably looking the board wipe sooner rather than later. Oh my god, we have another obliterator though. Oh, we have another obliterator and hello, <laughs> we have so many things, but we're not the bad as to play them. I think we play this. I'm a little bit afraid he's gonna board wipe or something. Just a little bit afraid of that. Okay. So, smack in with you. In this case, I think we smack in with both, since we have the board wipe protection. But yeah, I guess we take damage from this also. Okay. Boop. Number 17. We'll lose some more life from that. But. I rather knew it. I knew it. But now at least we get everything back here. Tank action, yes. Do they retain their monocles? I think they do, right? They do. Oh. Oh, 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 wow. It would have been amazing if they come back in the other order, but that's okay. That's okay, Ashay. I think I can do another obliterate. Or in the stator. And he loses another life. My god, if we just had more lands in this deck and we would hit the land drops. We could play Timorat plus. Um, plus Grey Merchant. That would have been an amazing game. And a turn, I guess. Ending the turn. Okay, don't have another board wipe, please. Don't have another board wipe. Indulging Patrician. Okay, being on the end step if you gain three or more life this time. I guess he has a way of gaining three life. Probably. Probably. A banishing light on. What exactly? I think. Well, we have no ways of getting rid of enchantment, so I guess we just eat it up. In that case. Ooh, a land, finally. Finally, the land. Well, we kind of want this down, don't we? This is so much damage. Let's see here. We convert more to two or less. Do we kill the indulging patrician? Could also put down Helm on those. Nah, I think we do this. I think we do this. Put you down. Loses some life. Will you stay, stay up with these guys? For the time being. I think we can turn this around. I think we can get him. Iron Lord Ali. Patrician. 1-1. One, one. Bastion. Revenge of Ravens. Spicy pickle deck is running. A spicy pickle, but we're also running quite the quite the spicy deck, must say. Mm-hmm. Iron Lord Ollie. Will he have it on the board wipe? I think if he has it on the board wipe, that's a little bit bad for us, because we don't have really anything else done. And he gets to keep all these. Oh well, this doesn't do anything, but. But these do. Iron Lord Ollie. A removal spell, maybe? No, a land, okay. Well, that's good. Then we can play Grey Merchant next turn. Which is gonna deal a lot of damage. A lot, a lot, a lot of damage. He could also scry if he wants to. Okay. Sacrifice that. Gain a life point and scry. Might come in handy next turn. Might come in handy, okay. On top, zero one. And my turn, come on. Come on, it was my turn. My turn. Okay. Uh, we take the one. Boop. And create a one one. And my turn. Okay, let's see. We can play this and the Woe Strider. So we'll do that. Woe Strider. This takes a little bit more damage. Then the Grey Merchant. Ooh. Is this lethal? This is 12. Plus one. Plus two, actually. Plus one for this. That is 12. But, oh, my, this is lethal. It's actually lethal. No, it's one of lethal. One of lethal. I knew that. I can count. 
Uh, well, we can attack in at least. Because now he's dead. No, well, no, he's not. He has Revenge of Ravens. <laughs> he has Revenge of Ravens. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, no brains. You forgot about the Revenge of Ravens. Yep. Well, 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 well. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Down to two. He gains one. And a turn. And... Uh... Ooh, magic mirror. That can become the copy of uh, the Revenge of Ravens if he wants it. No gray merchant. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do... That does absolutely nothing. You should become a copy of Revenge of Ravens. That would be much better. But, okay. It's fine. It's fine, I don't know, Dolly. <laughs> He's so confused. I'm sorry, that's not just how it works. Sacrifice it. Yep. That's it. Two. And we have some damage. We killed the indulging patrician. Should kill him, right? Take some damage or we deal more. Okay. Or if we play any creature, I guess. We can actually scry with this. Okay, that's pretty nice. I think we'll take that. I think we'll take it. My turn! Come on! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Got him! Got him! And there it is. Oh, that's so much damage. Insane amount of damages. So I know it's blasphemy to go away from the Mono Black theme, but I really wanted to try out if we could get a fight off with Frex and Obliterator. So I put on Domri and Arcobolas, which can fight something for the Madness 2. So if we play this on turn 3, turn 4, Frex and Obliterator, and they have something down. They're pretty much done, essentially. And then I also put in Colony Ambush, which doubles down as a land, and back for more. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, and when you do it, fights up to one target creature you don't control, which could be a pretty good surprise with the Obliterator. And also Fauna Shaman, so that it can find the Obliterator. Let's try it out! See how it works. Okay. This hand looks pretty sweet, honestly. Timoret into Frex and Arena. Yes, please. What is this? What the frag is? When one or plus cards are put on permanent control, you may be one and create a servo. A servo? Oh, wow. Okay. That seems dangerous. Juicy Jones. Well, we'll, uh, we'll give him the good old Timoret. Blink! <sighs> yeah, three manas? Oh, mono white. Little you know. giant. And he gets reach. Interesting. Well, put on you. And now we have a pretty good blocker for that crystalline giant, unless he gets something else. As he buffs it. Good at that. Okay. Planes. What's gonna happen? Is this. I don't know. It's mono white artifact. That's pretty good. Though. And he gets Reach Vigilance. That's not getting me to the Timora, though. Good, good, good. Okay, another Kalni Ambush. Unfortunately, nothing which helps us that much. I guess Timora gets bigger. And that's good. Put down this tapped. No attacks. Next time, we're gonna get the Double Trouble Draw. That's gonna be good. And we can also fight the Steel Overs here. Another Crystalline. Puts a plus counter on everything. And pays that to get another dude. Reach Vigilance Trample. Uh, we still have pretty good blockers here, that's good. A Yara... On a Shaman. Okay, so not the worst, not the best either, I guess. Okay, well, we'll put down you then. This <laughs> Timorat is insanely huge now. Okay, well, we can fight. Or fight. We can find our business next turn. We can find the obliterator next turn. That's gonna be kinda good, I think. Little bit afraid of that steel overseer though. He's buffing everything up quite a lot, must say. And now he's uh, gonna use that, yeah. Yeah, these guys are getting huge. He's surely getting him with. No, he's not getting in with them, okay? 
Okay, okay. We have no creatures, really. Well, we do have a creature. Uh, we discard a card. Discard a Fauna Shaman. Find the Obliterator in the Stator. Uh, we could have dealt a lot of damage, though. With, <laughs> with Gary, must say. Gary would have been cool. Uh, well, put this down, tapped. And now we have pretty good board, I would say. Pretty good blocker with uh, Timorat and Obliterator. He doesn't really want to come in. I'm like, no! No! Don't do that! <sighs> well, we'll draw a card. We'll draw a card. Blink! Blink, blink. And other Kalni ambush. We are all the ambushes. We just need the Obliterator. Man, this is a 11 5! Oh, we look kind of dead, don't we? 13 5! Oh, well, now he surely attacks him with the Shambling suit also. Oh, he doesn't? Oh, that's mercy, I guess. Uh, he doesn't have double strike or anything. Trample, first strike. Reach, lifelink, trample. Doesn't matter which one. We'll take this. Okay, you're down to 9! Come on now! Well, we can back for more. Oh, wait. Wait, he's kind of screwed with that shambling suit. Because it's so big! Oh! Oh, look at this! For extra bit, I didn't think about it. But this... Yeah, fight the shambling suit. You have 13 permanents that you need to get rid of here, sir. Ah, that's... Uh, that's kind of a lot of permanents. 13 of them. Need to go now. Yep. That is how it is. He had mercy on us, not killing us last turn. But we are not gonna have mercy on him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, let's see, 8. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he has enough. Yeah, he can just <laughs> sacrifice freaking everything, okay? Okay. Oh, well, next, your turn. Uh, I don't think we need all these Kali ambushes. He still could win, though. <laughs> that's, the, that's the annoying part. Okay. Let's get... Oh! Flying! Reach Midlands Trample, First Strike, Death Touch. But, but this doesn't say flying. Interesting. Oh, it says flying there. Yeah, okay, I didn't see it. Um, I think we just take it. We're down low, but we have Grey Merchant. Oh, wait. We're gonna take two. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine taking two. We're close to that, but we're not dead there. Not that. Oh my gunners. We're so close to that. Grey merchant to stay alive. Yeah. That's gonna be uh that's gonna be some. Some things. Oh, I should have played this first, didn't I? Yeah. And then we can. Uh we can exile with this to stay alive. Exile his dudes. And then we can back for more. Turn out okay. No attacks. Uh, I think we'll end the turn there. I don't think we want another Phyrexian Arena down, really. I think we'll ship a swamp. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Could be. I think that back for more, though, is gonna be really, really good. If it doesn't get hexproof on this thing. But then we can fight the Steel Overseer still, so. Okay. Well. What's gonna be, though? Does Juicy Ones have a buff on this? Except for Steel Overseer. We're gonna take 8, then 2. But that at least makes us survive even though we back for more. So that's good. And we can Timoret to heal for 2. Right, we can take away the Shambling Suit and the Crystal Giant, yeah. That was kind of amazing, honestly. Him surviving that and us also surviving that. Both things equally amazing. And the thing that he didn't attack in where he had lethal. All things amazing, must say. Juicy Jones. Okay. So you have a trick up his sleevage. That one manas. No, no, don't time out now. Don't time out now. We're having such great fun, aren't we? And this back for more is gonna feel just so amazing. It's gonna feel so, so amazing. If we're gonna get this flying, though, yeah, then it gets me. Okay. Wait, this is also an instant, but it won't do anything. And does he attack him with both? 
Then we just block with the Grey Merchant and ended up, I guess. And then we remove some things from his Grey Crystalline Giant. Flying Menace, First Act, Trample, Vigilance, Reach, Death Touch. That's a lot of abilities. He's never gotten Hexproof with, though. Which is good for us. Okay, smacks him with that. And only that. Well, in that case, I guess we just tomorrow it. He has something, probably, which he's thinking about playing, and it's probably a buff, right? He buffs it up to 8. If he can deal enough damage, he can get us. I mean, of course. <laughs> of course that's the case. But, I mean, then I can't back for more, because I'm going to take too much damage from the arenas. Okay. Well, he is uh, not co really committing to that Crystalline Giant. He needs to press the... Uh, the wink button to pass the priority. I think he's a little bit sad, maybe about his earlier choices there, when he had the lead. Okay, activate you, take away the shambling suit and crystalline giant, get some life points, Ooh. heal up to 15, he uses steel overseer, we take 8, but that's completely fine. We're down to seven, but now this back for more. Oh, we gotta be back for even more, even more. Now this, my God, we're all the back for more. And we're just gonna be back for more. I think. Wait, we can almost, almost play this and with four manual, but we can't. Okay, back for more. Rex and her dude. I actually think it's better to fight this guy, because this guy has... Oh, he doesn't have lifelink yet? Reach, Vigilance, Trample, First Strike, Death Touch, Flying, Menace. Okay, well, I don't know. Wink! He loses 8 permanents, which is every permanent he has. That's kind of nice. Oh! Okay! I guess we'll keep. I guess we'll keep. We have lands, right? That's that's the only reason to keep. Overgrown too. Ooh. Ooh, it would be so nice to get uh, not Dovin. I'm not thinking about the other guy. Domri! We're gonna get Domri here. Domri into obliterated. Oh, just one time. Just one time. Hmm. Do we put on this? Can we do this at any point? Search library for creature card, reveal card, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Yeah, we can do this at any point. So, pass the turn. Pass the turn. Do we stack up on the obliterators? That's gonna be the plan. Okay. For Manaz. Okay. Fauna Shaman, he doesn't like that. He has some way of removing it, I think. Yoda! Oh! That's very dangerous, because we don't have a way of killing it. I think we'll ship a Grey Merchant. And we'll search for... The Obliterator. Bloop. And he doesn't know we have two, right? So it's gonna be amazing. Uh, hopefully he blocks! <laughs> it's very dangerous. He's gonna play something for five and win, I think. Probably. Plays one more land, activates Yoda, wins the game. He could do that, but he also could not have it. Ooh, he takes away that. Didn't have that fifth land, wow. That's lucky for us. That's very, very lucky for us. Okay. And smacks in with that guy. Well. Well, well, well. We can do this. Attack him with Timorath and keep up the Fauna Shaman in case we need to find our last Obliterator. Which is possible. Very possible. So we probably want to ship this anyways. Mm -hmm. Now we just need a fight spell. We can fight his Yoda. And then we're gonna get him. I'm very afraid of what he could play with this though. I haven't seen anyone. That's weird though. I haven't seen anyone play with this. Seemed like such a. Perfect Jankar. Oh, it doesn't have the last color! 
Okay. Well, he's gonna do something. Tomorrow was three or less. Well, in that case, I guess we ship the Timaret for another Rex and Obliterator because we just need them so much. Plunk. Come on, a fight spell, fight spell, fight spell. Ah, no. No, 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 I say. Well, put down this then. And put down this tap. Smack in with you. So I smacked him first, I guess. But it's not gonna block with this, unless it's a mega thing, yes. <laughs> I thought for one moment I thought he was gonna do it. But no, okay. I still lost have the colors! Oh! Oh, he could probably win if he activates this. I mean, he could have like omniscience or something. And just win. But he's gonna have it though. Okay. One extra card. Come on, fight spell! <sighs> No fight spell. Well, he's holding up all the mass. We're going with the obliterator first. Fauna Shaman. I think he has paid this also. Wink! Was it some that? Oh, wait, that's lethal. <laughs> that was lethal. I didn't even realize. I do have three lands, but. I think this is a sketch. Oh, we do have Fauna Shaman, though. We can ship Timorat. May we keep? We have the back for more at least, so even if it kills our thing, right? It could work out. Potentially. Potentially it could. Okay. In the pale moonlight. This is not looking good now. But at least we have a bluker. In the fauna shaman. That's something. Here's a life point. Is he gonna have a third attacker to flip this? I don't think so. Unless he has a haster. Okay, indulging patrician. Probably not going in there. Good. Good. Well, now we have the obliterator. We have the obliterator. So in that case, I guess we put down Timorat. Okay, so life one, unfortunately. And then we ship Ayara. And then we play it soon. <laughs> Something. Something. Else. What do you pick up though? You pick up. Hmm. Okay. Well, he attacks in with the Patrician. Sure. And we lose three life points, unfortunately. Ship the Ayoras. I think what we want here is actually a Grey Merchant to stay alive. Hmm. Mm. Unfortunately, that did not work. Well, what we can do, actually. We can fall a shaman ship the Frex and a bitter. We're gonna fight at some point. We're gonna ship the Obliterator. Search for the Ayara again. It might actually be the Ayara, which is the correct player. Because that can probably make us survive next turn with with the Grey Merchant, if we find a land. Okay, and no attacks. Ah, Not looking uh, super duper, I wouldn't say. He vitalizes, okay. In Darling Patrician, he's gonna deal out three damage then. And the Angel of Vitality, okay, well, he smacks in. Can he somehow, I would like to buff this, but not yet. <laughs> Soon I would like to buff it. Okay, another four. Okay, we get the dragon skull. That's good because that actually makes us survive with the gray merchant. Whoop! Solve all. Get seven there, one there, and we now have a yar also, so we can probably use that to draw something. Okay, well. We're not looking uh, completely out of it. I think we still stay, though. Stay with Ayora. Stay with everything. Because come back for more his angel. And do something. Surely. In the pale moonlight, luminous Brynmeth. But most things are flying. Really. The only thing it's saving is the soul warden. Okay. Oh, everything goes in. Ah, because he wants the soul warden to become a flyer. Hmm, I think that's fine though to block it. 
think it's fan. Demystify, destroy target enchantment. But in that case... Uh, what? You want to use this, yes. Activate and eat up Artimorat. Draw a card. Okay, there's a swamp, that's actually perfect. We kill this, we kill this. We're down to seven, but now we have the back for more. We come back, yes. We are down to four. Let's see, we can back for more. The biggest thing is the angel vitality. He needs to sacrifice four permanents, but he gets us. Gets us. The bastard gets us. Hmm. Well, or does he? We are gonna get one life point, aren't we? Okay, so Phyrexian Obliterator. He fights the Angel of Vitality. He gains a life point. Okay. He now needs to sacrifice a lot of permanents. He could lose most lands also, but this... Because he has lethal in the air. Uh, but don't we get one life? We have get one life point from Ayara. He could sacrifice all his lands. That will make him survive. But he's gonna realize that he's... Yeah, he realizes. Oh. oh, oh, but he doesn't have lethal now. He doesn't have lethal now. Okay, he's just four. He might have a life gain spell and get us still. Any life gain spell get us. gets us, but... But sure, okay. No attacks. No attacks! Oh, if we could get another ambush offer. I think it's gonna work, though. I think it's gonna have anything which gains some life. He had it! He had it! Oh! You should have been here earlier, Domre! Not now! Not now! No. Oh! Oh! Okay, answer. Ah! We go first. It's not an amazing hand. But it might just work. It might just work out. We can't play Fauna Shannon also. I think it's gonna work out. I'm optimistic. Let's look at this line. One, one, one cards. Okay. Blood or Scriptus. Flufet. Okay. Forest and also Lith. Hmm. Well, I did not enjoy drawing another Fauna Shaman there, but and that's fine. Okay. All right. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Yeras. Mishnayras. It's down to 19. We're dealing the damage. <laughs> okay. Territory Scythe Gap. Okay. Ooh, it's a Plaska Road. Well, actually, this is not the not the worst. Not the worst at all. Okay, and no attacks. Okay, so next turn Fauna Shaman plus. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, he's getting all. All and everything. Ah, uh, no blocks. Okay. I want that thing to grow a lot, though. Like, a lot, a lot. Ling, 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 ling. And we ship what exactly? The Fauna Shaman. And we search up the. Obliterator Illustrator. And now he doesn't want to attack him anymore. I don't think. It seems kind of bad for him to do that. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Shrink, 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 shrink. Oh, Nissa. Nissa. Mm -hmm. Well, that uh, scythe cat, though. That scythe cat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, sure. I don't think you want to attack in with that, though. He's gonna stay? Okay, my turn. Well, in that case, sir. In that case. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. We're gonna cancel this. We're gonna attack in first, of course. For his face, probably. Or for Nissa, I don't think he's gonna block to protect his Nissa. The thing is, he could sacrifice everything but Nissa or something. With it back for more. So I think I'll attack him for Nissa. And see. It does. Okay. Takes the damage. Well, in that case, sacrifice the obliterator. Draw a card. Back for more. Oh, wait, we could do that at any. Nah, I think it's better to do it now. Because the thing is. Thing being this. Plunk. 
Uh, he could do something nasty with Nissa if he has too much mana. And win the game. I'm a little bit afraid of that. Okay. Well, seven things need to go. Seven permanents. Can easily just four, five, six. Keep the forest, the ocelet, and the Nissa. I mean, it's possible. And then I need to block with a fall, I shall probably survive. So it's kind of dangerous for me also. Kind of dangerous. Kind of dangerous. At some point, star minus eight is kind of far off though. Kind of far off. Even though he has evolution sage. It is kind of far off. Okay. Select his permanence. Probably the Ocelith, Scythecat, Nissa, and the Forest, which is a land. Be my guess. Oh wow, the Nissa went. Oh. <laughs> he fought the Ocelith over Nissa. Interesting decision. Probably wouldn't really have done that, but okay. Ah, that's a big forest. No blocks. We'll take it. We will take it, we will take it. Oh, the Harnsh. Ooh, he's mounting a comeback here. Mounting a comeback. Well, let's do this then. Ship the Fauna Shaman. Pick up the Blitz. Now, all we need is a good fight spell. And this guy is gonna be in trouble. I think we stay up though. A good fight spell on that forest. And it's just gonna be so juicy. Okay, Great Horn. Gets a land. It still can't go in. It's still an 8 8, interestingly enough. Even though he put this over. It's just how laying works. Mm hmm. Okay, my turn. Arena and Grey Merchant. Hmm. I think I can play both, right? I think I can play both. So put you down. Then put you down. And now we're up to 17. That feels kinda good. We can smack in with this safely and then block with our grey merchant. But he's not gonna block this. And I think we got him! I think we got him! Could even block with the Fauna Shaman. We don't have no need for the Fauna Shaman now. Is that a 3 or is there a comeback coming? Gem Razor! Oh. Okay, and it destroys that Phyrex and Arena, surely, yeah. Blink. But now it doesn't really have enough blockers. Oh, this is Vigilance, okay. And Tramblaze. Okay, we'll take it, no blocks. Bloop. Down to nine. My turn, though. Little form Endian, well. Well, 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 well. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if we block up the bed. Member shout out. Member, member shout out. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a special thank you, of course, to all our members on Patreon and the YouTubes. If you also want to become a member, then you should check out the join button next to the subscribe button. I want to check out my Patreon link in the description. Oh, here they come though. Adam Alexa, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, the soft. Hello, Nathaniel Nissan, Michael W, Topless Investment, Peter Gold, Charles Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Way, Meso Guan, Tai Tai, Unite Moonlight, Dark Breaker 2000, Nordus, Invoke Legion, Own 77, Ellie Curtis, Noah VH, MC Hermes, J Cap, Steve Jaminski, Sky Server Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Denley, The McDuncan, Hansa Koss, Agri Reborn, Ramen Noodles for Me, Musketeer, Name the Epithet, The Lurg of Dimly Nike, um, Stricken Mike, Channel Fade Alone, Ninja Astral, Optimus, Magic Pistol Man, Seppi1310, Martin Newman, Catherine Lorcan, Jake Palmer, Thomas Schwartz, Kyle Hoff, Judy Robinson, Robert Montgomery, Salim Proctor, Zach Coiler, QGL889, Some Call Me George, Paris Hammond, Bill Murray, Kyle Wedgwood, Patrona Bavaria, Robert Barker, Adam Jacob, Fernando Vizu, Robert Lewis, Dr. Leos, Santa John, Joseph Zuniga, Nate TMI, Shamalix, Matthias Pole, DJX Disorder, Carlos Ordenes, Simon Fairley, Evan Miller, Mil William Cunningham, Kevin Yunea 1, Lim Lanshon, <laughs> John Silver, Yuri Lepikov, DJD Star in the Mix, Verokta, Connor Langdon, Daniel Raystar, 
George Rolhas, Linkus Week, Willie Beasley, Jordan Squire, Anthony Nixon, Naughty Player, Juan Tu Ying, Tyler High, Galen Vonus, Logan Nihai, <laughs> Dan Gunsel, Aaron Noble, Drew Stiles, Adam Alexis, Matthew Goggins, Betsuma, Serge Carmoro, Freeman Stephenson, Brenton Dobbs, DBK Drummer, Rainbow Cake, and Phantom Tantum, Piotr Stalorsk, Matthias Forbod, Ninja Long Gnome, Infant Raw, Dr. Jadron, Javier Diaz, Adam Ruth, But With Ass, 7 guys 777 Big Bob, MTG, Patrick Henning, Liquid E, Thanatos, Nesmoth, Truman, Yellow Beans, Patrick Parks, Martin Newman, Jonathan Burgos, Harshit Singh, Alexander G. Valencia, Lohanade, Travis Markley, Frank Sherwood, Farron Esquiti, The Squiders, I Ate My Neighbor, Christopher Tonkin, Guadalupe Hernandez, Bam Bam, Kevin Xie, Yoda for Sale, Trunks 305 in KC, Michael Brown, Mark Rutledge, Amber Parrot, Jacob Harry, Herrer, Rick Mr. Joe, Victor William Bayer, Kleiner Dackel, Der Boski, David L, Kevin Fernandez, High Seas, and the Big McFadden. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And see you tomorrow. And I'll thank you to all our batch holders on Patreon, the $2 tier. If you're interested, you can check out the Patreon link down in below in the description. There might be a link here also, but sometimes I just forget to put it there. And there might be videos on the other side to some of my other videos, but, but you never know. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow.